After two successful de-boosting operations by Chandrayaan-3, we're now at the closest point to the moon, following an elliptical orbit of 24 kilometers to the farthest point at about 134 kilometers. The final lap will be taken up in the last 48 hours. The touchdown on the moon, the soft landing, is slated to happen at 6.04 p.m. So essentially, in about 48 hours and two minutes from now, you will see the soft landing taking place. On Wednesday is when it's going to be happening. ISRO has confirmed that everything is going as per plan. When will the process of the soft landing actually begin? It will begin as per ISRO at 5.20 p.m. on August 23rd. So based on that, about 44 to 45 minutes is what they are anticipating. The whole process, the whole duration of the process will be. They are also saying at this point that the landing of the moon will be completely live streamed. So yes, you can catch all the action here on India Today as and when it happens. As Lander Vikram edges closer and closer to the South Pole of the moon. Pramod Madhav is joining us live with more details on this. Pramod, it's ISRO confirming that everything is going as per plan. They've also gotten Chandrayaan 2 orbiter involved. But 6.04 p.m. is when we will know whether this whether the soft landing, the most crucial and most difficult part of this operation, has been successfully completed or not. Whole process, it looks like, from all, will take about 45 minutes. It absolutely is, Achita. And the important aspect here is that like every step of Chandrayaan, be it 1, 2 or 3, have been crucial. But... So far, Chandrayaan one two have to, uh, like they were able to Israel have, was able to actually uh, like uh, uh, prove a lot of things using these two missions. But the only thing that Chandrayaan two should not do was the soft landing. It was a hard landing, a crash landing. And this time they want to succeed in that as well. And that's the reason each and every ship is very very carefully done. And that's the reason even now Chandrayaan has like shown the other side of the moon, the far side of the moon. We got visuals of the place, and as we see, it's going to track for the next two days a proper place to land and it will be a kind of like disruption a controlled spot that's what we're going to see they're going to use reverse structures and they're going to reduce the speed two meters per second to three meters per second and slowly it will go for a fast soft landing and we're pretty sure that israel is going to accomplish this mission this uh on chandrayaan 3 uh Chita. Very, very true. You know, at this point, everything is picture perfect. Uh, exactly how Israel intended it to be. They've been following all of that schedule that they lined up earlier as well. Thanks very much, Pramod, for joining us with all of those details. So lots of updates that have come in in the last 24 hours. If you missed out on all of the action that Israel has reported with regards to the movement of Chandrayaan-3, we've got you covered. Let's begin by getting you a roundup of all the updates. ISRO has informed that a two-way communication has been established between Chandrayaan-2's orbiter and Chandrayaan-3 mission's lander module, Lander Vikram. The spacecraft is now just two days away from its final destination. Chandrayaan-2, while it was a partial success, remember, didn't manage to complete that soft landing, but has had an orbiter going around for the last many years. So it will be the more of communication between Lander Vikram and the ISRO base. On your screens are the latest images that have been released by ISRO. Fresh pictures of that the Vikram lander has clicked uh, from, in fact, space from very, very close to the moon. Uh, and all of these pictures reportedly are also helping in determining the landing site of the moon. These images show massive craters on the lunar surface. It's been captured by the detection and avoidance camera on board Chandrayaan-3. The stage is set for this historic moment. ISRO has announced that the lunar mission is scheduled to touch down on the moon's surface at around 6 4 p.m. Remember, the original time was about 5.45. So just a slight push in the schedule there. The same date, August 23rd, is when it will happen. Devotees offered prayers at the well-known shrine of Sai Baba for the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, India's mission to the moon. Hundreds of devotees gathered in front of Sai Baba's Darkamai and worshipped a replica of Chandrayaan-3. A special havan ceremony was organized at the Varanasi temple. Prayers were offered for the success of Chandrayaan-3. Devotees sought blessings for ensuring that Chandrayaan-3 successfully touches down. A 
a lot of the focus as far as Chandrayaan-3 is concerned has been on the lessons that we've learned from what happened in 2019 with Chandrayaan-2. Who can forget those heartbreaking images of K-7, the then ISRO chief, breaking down after ISRO failed to ensure that there was a soft landing of the lander part of the Chandrayaan-2 mission. We spoke to Mr. Sivan, who's also actively involved in the Chandrayaan-3 mission. And he tells us about the lessons that he's learned so far. Here's that exclusive conversation with India Today's News Director, Rahul Kawal. I want to start by asking you about the lunar mission uh, of uh, the Russians, which crashed uh, very unfortunately over the weekend without being able to land successfully. You know, given what has happened with the Luna 25, which was Russia's first attempt to land a spacecraft off the moon and that ending in failure, you know, would that increase the levels of anxiety of the team in the space center of ISRO at this moment? Does that make you one extra level more anxious? No, it is not so. First of all, uh, Luna uh, mission failure and uh, this one, they are not related. Luna, actually, that is have its own system, its own uh, the sensor, thrusters, and it may have its own characteristics. But uh, we have our own system, our own thruster, our own sensors, which it, it has been functioning very nicely and without any problem. And uh, till now, we are uh, uh, achieved what we want in a perfect way. And I'm sure that this will repeat on 23rd also. So we'll get a good uh, uh, landing. And uh, we are not getting uh, uh, disturbed by the Luna 25 failure. We are, they are not related. They are not a similar system. They are different system. Okay. So we are confident that we are uh, will be able to achieve without any problem. Could you explain in layman's language the complexity involved in that final <coughs> slow descent and why is it that most of the lunar missions that have gone wrong over the last few years, uh, including the Japanese and the Israeli ones, have gone wrong just at the last <coughs> stage it seems? See, this uh, lunar mission is a, a very crucial and I mean, very critical and very complex. And uh, that's what we are calling this uh, the entire the descent process from 25 or 30 kilometers to touchdown is a 15 minutes terror. This controlled uh, man manner we are bringing to velocity 2 kilometers per second to zero is a very crucial. And this zero should be only at the surface of the moon. If it is zero earlier, it will fall like a football. And if it is uh, 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 non-zero at the time of uh, touchdown, again, it's a hard landing. So that way, this the whole process is a very, very, very uh, that, uh, meticulous to ensure that the velocity is to be reduced to zero at the right moment, the time, at the right location should be there. That's what we are calling it's a very, very critical and very complex process. And this call, that's what we are calling it's a 50 minutes terror. And you can catch that full conversation with Mr. Sivan, the former ISRO chief, at 8 p.m. tonight on News Track. Now, as Chandrayaan 3 reaches closer to the moon, there are a lot of questions about who the ISRO heroes are who've made this dream possible, who worked and toiled day and night for the last many years since 2019 to ensure that Chandrayaan 3 reaches the moon. Let's get you those faces. Who are our ISRO scientists who are working and continue to work hard to ensure its success? Normal, Here training. we have a majestic lift off of LBM 3M. The launch has also added a feather in the cap of LBM 3 rocket. As Chandrayaan 3 inches closer and closer to the moon, it's our ISRO heroes who've made this possible. Chandrayaan ko safata purva kantak shepit kar diya gaya hai. We sign up. On July 14th, 
we got a glimpse of our scientists who've toiled for years now to make this mission a reality. Leading team ISRO is Chairman S. Somnath, who is beaming with pride as his team managed to pull off a picture-perfect launch. Congratulations, India. Chandrayaan-3 has started its journey towards moon. Our dear LVM-3 has already put Chandrayaan-3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth. 170 by 36,500 kilometer was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now. And let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan-3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon. And that's just been the beginning of their dream coming true. These scientists have had sleepless nights for nearly 40 days now, tracking every update, every maneuver. Leading this project is Director P. Veera Muttuvel, who hails from Villupuram in Tamil Nadu. A graduate from IIT Madras, Muttuvel has been dedicated towards building the Chandrayaan spacecraft since 2019. All our spacecraft health parameters are normal, including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module. Our, our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing. We'll be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from Istrak, Bangalore. Um, many critical events are lined up, starting from earthbound maneuvers, insertion into the lunar orbit, and separation of lander, and set of deboost maneuvers, and finally the power descent phase. Prajolan or Safaltapur Uthapan LVM3. Remember that heartwarming moment after the launch when ISRO Chief Somnath and another official simply couldn't hide their excitement? This is LVM Mission Director Mohan Kumar, who was in charge of India's Bahubali, the LVM which sent Chandrayaan-3 soaring into space. I am very happy to report here that the LVM-3 M4 vehicle has injected the Chandrayaan-3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit. Uh, and once again, the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of Indian Space Research Organization. Congratulations to the teamwork of ISRO family. So who else is part of Team Chandrayaan? The director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, where the LVM-3 was developed, Unikrishnan Nair was in charge of several key functions during the launch. UR Rao Satellite Center Director M. Sankaran is currently leading the satellite fraternity to meet the national requirements and is part of Team Chandrayaan. A. Rajarajan, the director of Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, gave the go-ahead for the launch. It takes an army to build a spacecraft like Chandrayaan-3 and there are so many more scientists who play an integral part of making this dream a reality. Bureau Report, India Today. We're counting down to the day after tomorrow, Wednesday, 6.04 p.m., where what you see behind me, the lander Vikram coming down for a soft landing safely on the south pole of the moon will take place. Now, that's exactly where Chandrayaan-2 actually faltered. So what changes have been made in light of what happened in 2019 to ensure there's no repeat now in 2023? Let's break down the differences in the lander in the Chandrayaan-2 versus Chandrayaan-3. The Indian Space Research Organization has successfully reduced the orbit of the Chandrayaan-3 mission's lander module Vikram on Sunday. Vikram is on its own journey towards the lunar surface now. Equipped with four landing legs and four landing thrusters of 800 newtons of force each, Vikram is designed for a soft landing on the moon. It carries within it a rover named Pragyan. Chandrayaan-3 is largely a replica of its predecessor, Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-2 was launched in July 2019 in the form of an orbiter and a lander Vikram bearing a rover Pragyan. Vikram entered into orbit around the moon, but the surface mission failed in September 2019. The lander Vikram crashed instead of executing a slow descent. ISRO later identified a problem. Based on it this time, ISRO has strengthened the lander's legs, lowered its minimum thrust, enhanced the availability of power and upgraded the landing sequence to a soft landing. 
The Vikram lander is currently traveling at about 25 kilometers above the lunar surface at a speed of 6,000 kilometers per hour. From this, it needs to come down to a speed of 1 meter per second within seconds. It then further needs to make a sharp 90 degree turn as it starts moving away from its orbit. ISRO will need to make some major adjustments at very quick, almost breakneck speeds. To achieve a successful landing, Chandrayaan-3 has lander hazard detection and avoidance cameras that will be used to coordinate with the orbiter and mission control as the lander makes its careful descent approach to the surface of the moon. Vikram, the lander module, also carries Laser Retro Reflector Array or LRA. It would carry out a passive experiment to understand the dynamics of the moon system. Once the soft landing is achieved, the rover Pragyan will be deployed on the lunar surface on the South Pole to carry out its own research to find evidence of water molecules. So we are going to measure it for the first time. What is the kind of profile that will be existing? So you have a, a probe that will be inserted into the uh, lunar uh, regolith. It's, uh, we will penetrate up to around uh, 10 centimeter for probing. Actually, uh, 14 centimeter, including the tip. The tip will be actually uh, aiding us to penetrate. So 10 centimeter of the lunar uh, surface will be uh, probed. Temperature will be measured. And basically, it will give you the conductivity. Uh, this regolith can be a building block for future uh, space bases, lunar bases. Chandrayaan-3 is the third installment of the Chandrayaan series and represents India's second attempt to achieve a soft landing on the moon's surface. So far, only three countries have successfully landed spacecraft on the airless lunar world. Failure of the recent Russian moon mission has put the limelight back on India's Chandrayaan-3. And that's all we have time for in this edition of 6 p.m. Prime. Do stay tuned because tomorrow, 6 p.m., I'll be joining you live from Bengaluru, getting you all the action as it will be just 24 hours then to Chandrayaan soft landing on the moon. And rest assured, here on India Today, you'll get the most detailed coverage on what to expect on Wednesday on landing day. That's all I have time for. Thanks for tuning in.